Welcome to week 45. In a video I made a couple of weeks ago, I'll put a link up here, I spoke about Maslow's hierarchy of needs and how when it comes to self-esteem, as an athlete, I don't feel like I have anything in the way of self-esteem. Mainly due to an injury I've got in my left knee. I've had it for exactly a year now. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about the injury in a bit, but ultimately as an athlete, as somebody that does triathlon, that runs, that swims, that cycles, I have very low self-esteem uh, uh, up until a couple of weeks ago. I just didn't feel like I was uh, really worthy of calling myself anything even remotely close to an athlete. So over the last three weeks I've been off from university, it's allowed me a bit more flexibility and a bit more time to focus in on these things and I decided that the best thing I could do to build my self-esteem was to look at some things that I had complete control over what people call controlling the controllables. Something completely objective, something that I have complete control over and that my knee has no bearing on. Out of the three sports that I do with triathlon, swimming is the one that my knee has least impact on. So I decided to focus in on that. I decided what I was gonna try and do over the last three weeks was to swim five out of the seven days each week and to total a minimum of 10 kilometers a week. And over the last three weeks, I've managed to do that. In week one, I swam just under 11K, so I swam uh, 10,700 meters. And then in weeks two, and this week that's just finished, the third week, I swam just under 12 kilometers, 11,700 meters. So in that regard, it's a massive result for me in terms of something that I set out to do. I set a goal, it was completely objective. It was something that I had complete control over. I was controlling those controllables and I achieved the goal that I had. There are other things other than just achieving my goal that I've got out of this. For example, I wasn't expecting the swimming to improve as much as it did. It is one of those things where volume helps when your technique gets to a certain level. So I knew that my swimming would probably get a bit better, but I managed to swim a season's best on Friday uh, for a 200, which was 121. Uh, my PB is only 116, so it's not a million miles off of that, but I haven't even been close really to uh, those low 120s uh, for months and months and months. I was also regularly swimming 200 meter reps in those last couple of weeks around about three minutes which is about 130 per hundred which is a really good time for me nice and strong I also feel like I had that really nice glide through the water that strong uh, powerful glide through the water and as I could feel other people around me starting to tire I still felt like I had that extra gear to go to I've also learned that I swim much better as part of a coach session I found the the a couple of occasions when I was swimming on my own on a, on a Wednesday and um, quite difficult to motivate myself I just ended up doing really techie sets rather than uh, doing anything with any efforts. Luckily for me, I was able to go to three uh, coach swim sessions a week, which really helped me, but having those stronger swimmers around me, or con conversely, being the strongest swimmer in the session, was a real motivator for me to really push myself hard. So that's something else I've learned this week. And I'm planning on doing a CSS test next week to see just how much the improvements have been for my 400 and 200 time to give me that decent threshold time to work on. It's also taught me that my swimming can improve quite rapidly and uh, I have made some really big improvements and that to continue that I need to swim probably four times a week really so I've got to try and find an extra session when I am back at university to swim during the week. I made a video a few months ago now uh, which I'll put a link up about here about the four main neurotransmitters and hormones that make us happy uh, one of which is dopamine and I was having a massive dopamine flood from not just from the exercise that I was doing but also from the motivation of managing to achieve my goal each time I was ticking off that distance and it felt good but also from the compliments I was getting about my swimming from other people in the pool and from the coach. As a result of all these things, achieving my goals, gaining a bit of self-esteem, the dopamine response to actually achieving those goals I'd set out, um, I also found that it was flooding into other things such as trying to make myself eat better. I was sort of more motivated just to do that because I was, I was training harder. Um, and also in terms of being able to get on the bike and do my turbo sessions, I did just under four hours of turbo sessions and cycling this week, one of which was a, an incredibly brutal race simulation, which was absolutely killer, uh, which I just would have given up on uh, a couple of weeks ago. I also managed to get out for a couple of runs. I wasn't going to run until yesterday but I actually went out on Wednesday and just did a bit of a tentative run to see how my knee was faring and I have to say, uh, touch wood, that actually I didn't have, haven't felt any pain in my knee either on that very short one mile run that I did as three four hundreds um, just to see how my, my knee was holding up but also uh, on a 20 minute run that I did yesterday, I also, other than being very slow and very heavy, uh, I, I didn't find any repercussions from that pain. Anyway, here's a training montage from this week's training. I have actually worked really hard on this edit. Uh, I've, I've worked really hard to try and compile it all together and put some really cool shots in there. So I hope you enjoy the, the, uh, the training montage from this week.
So on to next week, I'm back to university. I need to get my bike fitted for my road bike because I'm not sure that's actually helping my knee in any way. Um, so that's something to plan for. But also, I also need to keep the momentum up with what I'm doing. So what I'm gonna do tonight is I'm gonna sit down and make a list of all the things that I can control that I know I can do things about this week and carry on with that kind of motivating feeling. Obviously part of that is gonna involve running. I'm gonna try and go up a, a small amount of distance and a small amount of pace if I can. Uh, try and keep the swimming up to a certain level even though I won't have the time to swim five times a week and to try and keep that biking in there so that's basically it really just to keep controlling those controllables keep pushing that level of self-motivation that self-esteem up uh, and just keep it going I've got about seven weeks now until the race when I need to basically finish a triathlon it'll be like my 78th triathlon or something and it feels like it's going to be my first one for some reason um, anyway that's that's it for this week I hope you guys have a good week and I'll see you in week 46